as you can see, Mike Tyson's taking this seriously, okay? He says he doesn't need the money, and I'm sure he doesn't, although whatever he's going to get paid, I'm sure that doesn't hurt either. So it certainly will be a little bit of a motivating factor. He wouldn't do it for free, that's for sure. So, Mike, bro, if you're watching this, let's have some fun. New, new school versus old school. Mike Tyson has finally revealed the real reason why he is fighting Jake Paul. Meanwhile, some sources reveal that Tyson is set to bank a monster payday against Paul. Since the bombshell announcement, enthusiasts have been tirelessly pondering the extent of Tyson's potential earnings from the upcoming bout. Ultimately, the amount in question must be substantial enough to entice the once undisputed heavyweight champion to gamble his legacy against a figure from the realm of YouTube. Former dual-weight UFC title holder Henry Cejudo expects to rake in approximately $20 million in earnings. He said, I mean, you know what I respect, Uncle Mike, but it obviously takes two to tango. I feel like there is probably a really good payday for Mike. He's probably going to wind up making close to about 20 mil, and he's about to turn 58 years old. Naturally, such conjecture stems from an individual entirely detached from the ongoing conflict. However, should he indeed demand a fee hovering around the $20 million range, it would align closely with the earnings he once garnered during his peak years. Throughout an illustrious two-decade-long journey, Tyson reportedly amassed a staggering fortune of approximately $430 million. Michael Bisping, a former UFC champion, has weighed in on the matter, offering his perspective on the impending fight. Uh, I think Mike Tyson's doing this because he misses it. You know, the thrill of it. When you're away from combat sports for so long, you know what I mean? It's still in you, you know? Still got that old dog deep inside him and he wants to go out and remind the world, this is fresh, this is a challenge, it's something to get in shape for. And it's an exciting venture. While the prevailing belief suggests Tyson's comeback is driven by financial motives, Bisping offers a contrasting viewpoint. Bisping said, As you can see, Mike Tyson's taking this seriously. Says he doesn't need the money and I'm sure he doesn't. Although whatever he's going to get paid, I'm sure that doesn't hurt either. So it certainly will be a little bit of a motivating factor. He wouldn't do it for free, that's for sure. Bisping doubted that Tyson would participate for free and speculated that Tyson's involvement is due to missing the thrill of the sport. He remarked that being away from combat sports for an extended period leaves a persistent itch, suggesting that Tyson still harbors the competitive spirit and desires to remind the world of his presence, viewing it as a fresh challenge and an opportunity to get in shape. He added, I think Mike Tyson's doing this because he misses it the thrill of it. When you are away from combat sports for so long, you know what I mean, it's still in you, still got that old dog deep inside and he wants to go out and remind the world. This is fresh. This is a challenge. It's something to get in shape for. Many fans have long dreamed of witnessing Mike Tyson in action, but his age undeniably factors into the anticipation surrounding this event. While excitement abounds at the prospect of seeing the legend in the ring once more, there's also a notable undercurrent of concern among some. Compounding these feelings, Colby Covington recently weighed in with his thoughts on the impending fight. One of the biggest concerns for Covington is the safety of Mike Tyson. While speaking to Sosnick, he said, I don't like it at all. Mike still looks like a superhuman for 58, but he's still 58 years old, and you know he shouldn't be fighting anymore. Additionally, he voiced concerns over Tyson's safety, deeming it unsafe and risky for someone of his age, mentioning potential catastrophic health consequences like a heart attack or brain hemorrhage from fighting. Covington emphasized his hope that Tyson would emerge from any forthcoming matches without any injuries and unharmed. He added, I don't think it's safe, I think it's dangerous at that age. Your heart might explode, you know. He gets hit in the head is, he might have a brain bleed. I mean the guy, I, that's what I hope for. I hope that Mike Tyson makes it through injury-free and doesn't get hurt. Continuing, Covington suggested that there is a significant backing, a machine, supporting Jake by enhancing his physical capabilities through these means. Covington concluded by stating his belief that the situation is likely to have a negative outcome. Covington shared, I don't like the fight. Jake is in his mid-twenties. He's doing every chemical known to man. He's literally a lab project. They're just juicing him up, him and his brother. Everybody knows that. The machine is behind him, juicing him up, putting every chemical known to man. So, I think it's going to end badly. It's worth mentioning that Colby Covington isn't one to shy away from controversy, often accusing several fighters, including John Jones, Kamaru Usman, Conor McGregor, and Matt Brown, of using performance-enhancing drugs. Now, he's added Jake Paul to the list, claiming he's indulging in every substance imaginable. Concluding, Covington made his prediction for the outcome of the boxing match. I think Jake is going to probably knock him out within the first two minutes. If he doesn't, it'll be because he's carrying him, and he's trying to make the freak show
show look like it's a competitive fight. He further stated his aversion to the fight, expressing the opinion that it detracts from Mike Tyson's legacy. Covington highlighted the potential damage to Tyson's reputation if he were to be defeated by a YouTuber, particularly given Tyson's historical image as the baddest man on the planet and a figure of immense fear in the boxing world. He added, I hate the fight. I think it takes away from Mike Tyson's legacy when a guy like this comes in and beats him. A YouTuber comes in and beats the baddest man on the planet and the most feared man. Meanwhile, Mike Tyson has already commenced preparation for his upcoming challenger, a contender who is three decades younger than him. During a recent exchange in the ring, Iron Mike delivered a bone-chilling message directly to Paul. Day four, you know, it was okay, but you don't know what you got in store, baby. You got to face the God of War and get ready, baby. Fire in the house. In the year 2022, whispers began circulating about a potential showdown between Tyson and Paul. Tyson caught wind of this speculation during his Hot Boxing podcast, and without hesitation, he swiftly dismissed the notion. He proceeded to propose a sum he'd be willing to contend with Paul, a figure significantly surpassing what he'll ultimately receive this year. Tyson claimed, Nobody told me that. Hey, I ain't got no f***ing money, so where's the f***ing contract? I ain't know nothing about it. Listen, I've been smoking with him forever. I did some shrooms with him as well, but I've never heard this. Tyson also recalled a recent gathering in St. Bart's where no such topic was brought up. He concluded by humorously noting the high cost associated with maintaining a luxurious lifestyle, suggesting a need for more financial resources. Tyson added, I was with him in St. Bart's not too long ago partying and he never told me this. I've never heard this from nobody. I've just heard this from you guys. We gotta get some more man blue-eyed, blonde hair, that is very expensive. We need to get some more money, man. When asked how much he'd actually want, Tyson immediately replied, a billion bucks. Now that you've heard Tyson, you can relate it to Henry Cejudo's remarks, where he expects that Tyson will get his hands on approximately $20 million in earnings. During his appearance on the Journey podcast in March 2022, Jake Paul was quizzed about his inclination towards squaring off against Mike Tyson. Without hesitation, the problem child enthusiastically embraced the idea, playfully mentioning his plan to indulge in junk food to bulk up for the heavyweight division. He went on to dub the prospective matchup as a lucrative $200 million fight. What about Mike Tyson, the greatest heavyweight ever to fight in boxing? He obviously still wants to fight and throw some hands around. You're young, he's a little bit older, but we know that that has knockout power. Is that a fight that Jake Paul would step up to? Yeah, for sure. For sure. I, I joke with my friends about it. I'm like, I'll start eating Krispy Kreme donuts and move up to heavyweight and take on Mike Tyson. I think that would actually excite me. And that's, you know, that's a $200 million event, $300 million event. Meanwhile, in April of 2022, Mike Tyson made a memorable appearance on the Joe Rogan Experience, discussing his anticipated return to the boxing ring and the influx of fighters eager to challenge him. When Rogan inquired about Jake Paul's callout, Tyson surprisingly confessed that it didn't irk him. Instead, it stirred a sense of excitement within him. Because you talked to me on the podcast before, the first time you came on and you said, I can't even work out. Yes, Because yes. if I work out, my ego will get excited. But I did this told, and this told, I said, you got to do it. I said, you have to do it. The toad yeah, told you. you the, have to the DMT do it. told yeah, you time you to fight. To do it. Wow. I lost the weight. Mm. All the, and then it turned into a, a fiasco. And then the young guy, <clears throat> Jake Paul, yeah. Jake Paul, he got involved in. And that's how, he, that's how the birth of Jake Paul began. <laughs> when you get challenged by someone who's a, a guy like a Jake Paul, does that piss you off? Mike Tyson disclosed that the callout didn't ruffle his feathers, attributing it to a valuable life lesson. According to Tyson, maintaining a sense of humor about oneself is crucial. He asserts that getting worked up over insignificant matters serves no purpose. Consequently, his outlook on life has evolved, and he refuses to let such trivialities affect him. No, it doesn't. I don't no? think I think it's awesome. You think it's awesome? <laughs> yeah, I think it's gonna piss me <laughs> off. I think it's all awesome. cool. <laughs> you think it's cool? That's awesome. That's awesome that you, you handle it that way. Because like, in a way, I mean, it's it's kinda insulting. It's brave, it's bold of him, but it's also it's like Jesus Christ, there's levels to this world. In the midst of it all, Joe Rogan weighed in on who might emerge victorious in the impending bout. The renowned UFC color commentator delved into the hypothetical matchup between the two fighters during an episode of his podcast in 2023. Let me let me know what I found out. Um, 
this good gentleman, um, he, he was the mayor in this town in the Midwest, right? And I talked to him before, and he was one of those stern guys. He always got the bills paid, always got your lights on, always got everything right and perfect, but he didn't have a good personality. And he almost lost to a guy that didn't do anything. He didn't make, he, 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 he shitted on people's tax, he messed it, but he hung out with the people. He, he smoked cigarettes with them, he drank yeah. with them, he ate with them, he, go on the, he hang on their porch with them. Yeah. And that's when you learn, you can't take yourself too serious. In the year 2023, Joe Rogan featured Ric Flair as a guest on the Joe Rogan Experience. During their conversation, they delved into various topics, with a particular focus on the latest updates within the realm of combat sports. Just forget that Jake Paul is a YouTube guy and watch him box. Yeah. The kid can fight. 100%. Yeah. And that Tommy Fury fight yeah. really showed that. I mean, it goes to a split decision against a legit undefeated boxer. Yeah. Joe Rogan delved into a discussion regarding Jake Paul, commending the YouTuber for his impressive boxing prowess, particularly evident in his recent bout against Tommy Fury. Yet, when Flair disclosed Paul's desire to square off against Mike Tyson, Rogan offered his perspective. He doesn't, I'll tell you what, the one thing he doesn't want to do is fight Mike. No. He wants to fight Mike, I think. Why? I don't know. I don't give a f if he's 55. That's still Mike Tyson. My, my, Mike's in good shape, too. Oh, my God. Mike I've... trains every day. He trains with Rafael mm -hmm. Cordero, who's a legend. Joe Rogan's admiration for Jake Paul's boxing skills has taken a turn towards concern. Observing Mike Tyson's enduring power despite his age, Rogan anticipates the potential harm Tyson could inflict. He speculates that when Paul confronts Tyson's formidable presence in the ring, witnessing his agile movements, Paul may find himself questioning his decision to engage in the fight. Rafael is a world-renowned trainer when you see him holding the mitts for tyson and tyson smashing the mitts yeah. like jesus yeah, yeah mike, that guy can still yeah, f you yeah. up he don't, he don't want to fight mike in this world with hormone replacement and vitamins and like and he does all this like um uh electrical muscular stimulation mm -hmm. recovery stuff rafael cordero tyson's trainer has diminished worries about tyson's health asserting confidently that his fighter will enter the ring in peak condition for the upcoming match he said i believe we don't have to be concerned about it we're talking about a two-time world champion the guy didn't have 20 fights in two years he knows how to fight he's fought against the best guys in the world when he steps inside the ring he knows what to do as we approach the scheduled date, the world watches with bated breath, eager to see how these narratives will unfold in the ring. Will Tyson's return be a triumphant reaffirmation or a cautionary tale? Only time will tell. So, that's all from today's video. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon so you never miss our upcoming videos.